Welcome to a video walkthrough of our Willoughby Rio Gold 3512 2 bed from 2015. It's got double glazing and gas central heating. We will have a little wander around and show you the layout and a few bits and pieces. First thing to show here, you've got vinyl in the living area, which comes in from the one external door that we've got next to that big radiator there. The vinyl, um, slightly different vinyl in the hallway, but um, vinyl in the hallway. So bedrooms, uh, the two bedrooms are the only place where we've got carpet, which may be suitable and better for some people. Uh, we've got this um, wraparound L-shaped fitted sofa there with your sort of blue faux leather arms and skirts. And then you've got your blue um, stripy upholstery there. Same thing with the fitted dining area there. Upholstery is all alright really, I mean it's obviously had some use but um, there's no bad rips or stains or anything. A little bit saggy in the corner there but um, in general it's all okay. Up there is just the sofa bed mattress that needs putting back in with the sofa bed under the, the, seat, is the seating. It's got an electric fire in here as we can see. So we've got, as I say, gas central heating. So you've got the electric fire for the living area, but then we've got that big gas radiator by the external door. TV unit area there. Your sockets and aerial socket, things like that. It's a good sized kitchen. Got those handleless doors, so the cutouts in the lower ones and then the top ones just grabbing hold of the uh, bottom of the door that overlaps a little bit. Got a gas oven and grill and hob. Bit of rust on the fascia plate. But if they're in stock, we did used to be able to change those for a new one, so if we can get older one, then that's all fine. It's got a nice kitchen there, as I say, and then turning around by our external door, you've got a freestanding fridge freezer. It's a big gap there, so um, it's quite a narrow fridge freezer, or at least um, if it's not that narrow, you could get a wider one in, as you can see. Uh, you could also take that shelf out above, um, which would give you space then for a taller fridge freezer if you wanted. Got a microwave shelf over in the other corner, so um, which is sometimes what goes above the fridge freezer, but... You've got nothing really to go there other than just worktop space, so you could put a uh, bigger fridge freezer in. Walking down our hallway, going to go to the back of the caravan, show you the main bedroom. Since the bed's already half lifted up, I'll show you the lift up bed there. A couple of broken slats for the bed base, which we need to replace. Well, easily done, but just showing you that under bed storage, which is really handy. If you're on holiday or if you're living in it temporarily or permanently, then you've got some uh, good storage there for sort of suitcases or out of season clothes, that sort of thing. Big sliding wardrobe over in the corner there. Got the cut out hands in the middle. I'll show you a little bit of that in a minute. Little shelf and unit there and a um, mirror. Head over this side. I'll just show you. There's some duvets and things like that in here at the moment, but just to show you how big the, this wardrobe is. You've got a shelf at the top, then you've got a hanging rail goes most of the way along so that's a really good wardrobe area spinning to the other side we've got a window on one side of the bedroom with radiator underneath then got an ensuite toilet so just behind the door here we've got our ensuite toilet which is fairly self-explanatory with toilet and sink all quite clean and tidy in there Back to the hallway and turning to our right, we've got our twin bedroom, which is as always fairly self explanatory. Again, we've got a couple of shelves above with our cupboard units, which does give some nice storage. Two single beds, and then spin around, we've got a few coat hooks on the side there, and then hanging wardrobe space with a couple of drawers below. Plus our radiator and little mirror. Coming out of there, back to the hallway and up a little bit. Turn to see our bathroom where we find naturally our toilet. Got gas towel rail there, sink unit with cupboards below, and then our shower 
So it's a um, hinged shower door rather than a sliding shower door, so that's quite nice. Um, decent size gap there, as you can see, to get in through the showers, about shoulder width. And then you've got a all enclosed um, plastic unit with topper. Got a bit of rust on that light at the top, just because it's a shower. But you've got a nice plastic shower unit there. If we step outside now to have a look around the outside of the caravan. Exterior, we've got uh, rather than the standard sort of aluminium panels, we've got a white plastic panelling. Sort of a white slash cream. It's not had a wash yet, but it's almost a little bit creamy coloured. It's not a um, it's not a plain bright white. A bit more of a creamy white. As you can see the plastic panels have got a bit of a bit of flex to them. Dropping down, show you the chassis, which is galvanized. Just show you the back of the caravan. So this was our Willoughby Rio Gold 35 by 12. Two bed from 2015 with double glazing and gas entry heating. Let me know if you've got any questions.